Hello all, welcome to part 33 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to create and use multiple data provider methods across multiple classes. So let's get started. Till the previous session, we have created multiple data provider methods in the same class or a separated class, but a single class. Now I'm saying that we can create multiple data provider methods across multiple external classes. What does it mean? Let me practically demonstrate that for you. Okay. How to create multiple data provider methods across multiple classes, not a single class, but multiple classes. Okay. So let me practically demonstrate that for you so that it will be easy for you to understand. For example, in the previous session, what we have done is we have created demo.java guys where we have a test method and we have separated the data provider method into a separate class known as sample provider class. Okay. Here there are two data provider methods here. Multiple data provider methods are there which are part of the sample provider class, which is an external class for this test method. So here whether you have to use supplier one data provider method or supplier to data provider method, you have to provide the name of the data provider method here. Okay. For example, here there are two data providers having some name mentioned as supplier one. This data provider has a name as supplier one. This data provider has a name as supplier two. Okay. Beside the test method using this data provider attribute, we are providing the name of the name of the data provider method that is supplier one or supplier two. Okay. If I provide supplier one, that's not enough guys because this data provider methods are part of a separate class known as sample provider. They are not part of the same class. The demo class we don't have the data providers rather they are separated into a separate class known as sample provider. Okay, so here apart from providing the name of the data provider, we have to provide the class name in which this data provider methods are available. That is by using the attribute known as data provider class, we can provide the class name that is sample provider in which data providers are available say dot class supplier one data provider method in the sample provider class. Now if I run this the data will be retrieved. Okay, uh, supplied by the supplier one method in that sample provider class. You see first data provider. Okay, the supplier one data provider method is supplying the data to this uh, test method. This test method what is used at three times. Uh, this sample sample test method got executed at three times with uh, three sets of data. We, uh, you see the first data provider is passing the three sets of data here as you can see Arun Motori Apple, Arun Motori Apple, Varun Dawat Mango and Tarun Baskar Pineapple. Okay, these sets of data. What if I want to change the provider name instead of supplier one, if I give supplier two, what will happen from the same sample provider class if I give supplier two here. Uh, the supplier to data provider in the sample provider class has only two sets of data that is Kishore Ravi blue Rakesh Rathod green. Okay, so if I run this if I run this uh, test method here. This time this test method will be running two times. Kishore Ravi blue Rakesh Rathod green only two two tests will be running guys you can see here what happened. I just clicked on it. Let's go here and see. Yeah, sample method test method got executed two times. Two sets of data has been passed by this data provider that is supplied to from the sample provider dot Java. Now my question is here only one external class containing two data providers is there. Is it possible to create one more class containing other data providers that can be that can supply the data to this test method? Yes, it is okay. So let's create that. Okay, let's create uh, one more class. I'll say sample provider two class. Okay, you can give any name here. I'm just giving some sample provider uh, two. In that, I'll I'll create the data provider methods public void. Okay, uh, I'll say sample three uh, sample three. Okay, otherwise supplier three. I'll say it will be looking good supplier three, which is part of another class, guys. Not the same class as sample provider. It is sample provided to class. We have this data provider at the red data provider. I'll name that using the name attribute. I'll just name this as supplier three. Okay. For the mode on this data provider, import this and uh, here uh, try to supply the data uh, in the string format uh, two dimensional string array. Data is equal to 
provide the curly braces. How many sets of data you want to pass? From this, I want to pass, let's say, four sets of data. Two, three, four. Okay. I'll just divide like this so that uh, it will be easy for me to write down. One, two, three. Second set of data, third set of data, fourth set of data. First set of data, I'll just give something like, uh, I'll give some names, guys. Okay. Baskar, Alluri. Okay. Uh, here I'll give some object name. Otherwise, I'll say table. Okay. Just give some random data, guys. Nothing much. Okay. This is a sample only, right? You don't have to give any realistic data. Okay. Uh, Kiran, over. Uh, here I'll say pen. Dinesh. Okay, Dinesh, Sagu, Book, okay, Praveen, something, some random thing, Bottle, like this you gave some random stuff and then simply return the data guys, return the data, okay. Return type you have to mention, two-dimensional string array. Similarly, you can create one more data provider, uh, which only passes one set of data, let's say. I won't, don't want to complicate this. Let's say this is supplier four, supplier four, name is supplier four. And uh, here I only want to pass one set of data, guys, not multiple, only one set of data. So I'll say this one as, uh, uh, I'll give some names, okay. So Deepti. Deepti, okay, Konadella or something, and here I'll give some, let's say gold or something, okay, just give some random thing, that's it. Now, as you can see, there are two sample provider classes now, sample provider, sample provider two, okay, in this sample provider, there are two data providers, it can be multiple data providers, guys, not just two, you can have even 10 data providers if you want. But here one more class is also there which contains another set of multiple data providers. It can be one, two, three, four, anything. It number doesn't matter here, okay? For example, I'm creating two data providers in the sample provider and uh, two data providers in this uh, sample provider to class. Now, if this particular test method has to receive the data from any of these data providers in any of these classes, is it possible or not? From multiple classes, Multiple data providers are there. This approach is possible or not? Yes, it is possible, guys. Okay. You just have to give the data provider name and the class in which this data provider is available. For example, if you give supplier one, the supplier one data provider is available in the sample provider class. So sample provider dot class, data provider class is called sample provider. So it will run three sets of data will be there and the test method will run three times, guys. As you can see, the test method will run three times. Three, three prints got, uh, you see, three tests got passed. And you'll get the output like this. Uh, sample test method got executed three times. Arun Motori Apple, Varun Dawat Mango, Tarun Baskar Pineapple. Okay. What if I give supplier two here, which is also from the same class, sample provider dot class. Okay. So this uh, supplier two has two sets of data. The supplier two, as you can see, has two sets of data, Kishore Ravi Blue and Rakesh Rathod Green. So how many times this test method will run? Only two times. Okay. Same class, I don't have to change the class. Only two times it will run, two print statements will be there. Two tests got passed and you can see here, sample test method, same sample test method got executed two times. Kishore Ravi Blue and Rakesh Rathod Green, okay? Now, I want to go to another class. I want to use the data providers from another class. So I'll just change it to three guys, okay? Uh, sub, uh, supplier three method, data provider supplier three method I'm giving, but this is not from the same class. It's not from the sample provider class, rather it is from sample provider two class. So what I have to do here, I have to change the class name. Data provider class is equal to sample provider uh, two dot Java. Okay, two dot class. Sorry, two dot class. Okay, I have to give the proper class name. Otherwise, it is not going to work. Okay. Now, how many sets of data are there here? Four sets of data: Baskara, Luri table, Kiran power pen, uh, uh, Dinesh Sagu book, and Praveen Jangam Batil. Okay. So four sets of data are there. If I run this, this data provider method will be uh, will be 
uh, considered from this uh, sample provided to class and the test same test will be same sample test will be running four times with four sets of data you see four sets of data four passed and you can see here sam same sample method uh, sample test got executed four times with different sets of data four sets of data baskar alluri table kiran power pen dinesh hagubuk and pravin jangam patil and there is one more thing like what if i give four here supplier four supplier four is also from the same sample provided to class okay here only one set of data is there okay from supplier four only one set of data is there that this dipti kona della gold is there so this test method will only run one time guys okay just run this class i don't have to change this will run only one time only one print statement dipti kona della gold and only one test and as you can see sample test method got executed only one time with this one set of data that is dipti kona della gold so this example proves that you can create multiple data provider methods across multiple classes in test ng okay you don't have to create all the multiple data providers in a single class or the same class you can create multiple data providers across multiple external classes where the test method is not available and still make it work such that this methods from the different uh, classes this data provider methods from different classes can pass the data to the test method if we can do that okay this this example proves that so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye